most people should be pretty familiar with what a typical supermarket layout looks like. Fresh produce like fruits and vegetables are usually the first items you see, while things like dairy products and meat are placed further inside. It's usually organized in neat aisles with clear and easy to read signs directing you towards what you need. The cashier is also near the entrance of the store, so you know exactly where to go to pay for your items once you're done shopping. Please take your items. Compare that to this Donong Donkey outlet. Visually, it's pretty overwhelming. It's super colorful, things are hanging from the ceiling, and there's also signs everywhere. So many signs. If we take a look at their store layout, you'll also see that from the entrance, the cashier is hidden from view, which means that you can easily get lost inside this maze. Is this why we spend so much money at Dong Dong Donkey? First, a little bit of background. Dong Dong Donkey or Don Quixote in Japan is a Japanese discount chain store that sells everything from groceries to cosmetics and household items. There are over 160 Don Quixote stores in Japan, making it one of the largest retailers in the country. They opened their first store in Singapore in 2017, and as of today, there are 10 outlets scattered across the island. Having a confusing store sounds counterintuitive because it might frustrate shoppers. But actually, it might be one of the reasons why Dong Dong Donkey has been so successful. You may have a list of things you want to buy, and you find that, oh, a is here, but B is somewhere else, and C is somewhere else, and they don't make a logical sense because of the layout of Don on Donkey. When things are all scattered everywhere in a confusing manner, and you really have to look for A, B, C, D, and E that you want to buy, you will then come across F, G, H, that you had no intention of buying in the first place. But you happen, by chance, to see them because you were looking for what was on your list, which therefore increases impulse purchases. Or if it's not impulse purchases, purchases that you didn't realize you needed until you saw it. And so there is a functional use to that sort of layout because it increases sales for Don Don Donkey. The confusing layout isn't the only tactic Dong Dong Donkey uses to get you to spend more. The Japanese franchise is notorious for having an extremely repetitive yet strangely catchy theme song. It's harmless enough on its own, but when it's played on a constant loop over and over again, it can get stuck in your head. Earworms can distract you and ruin your concentration, making it likely for you to spend more than you intended. When you hear this song on repeat, you can't stop thinking about it. You also tend to shop for more items because you are so distracted by the music. It also makes us remember the store, cementing Dong Dong Donkey as a go-to place for us to shop simply because we can recall it easily. Even the excessive use of colour in their decorations serve a purpose. When things are bright and colourful, they grab your attention to get you to come in. And when people see colourful, bright layouts, right, at the entrance, it also puts them in a better mood. When you're in a good mood, you spend more. So the next time you find yourself in Dong 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 Ki, go ahead and buy what you want. But remember that there are other forces beyond your inner glutton that's pushing you to buy that packet of caramel corn. <laughs>